Hey, what up, dogs? Welcome back to Guard Attack. Click your heroes, Rider. Let's get right back into it, shall we? Boom! Last episode, we uh, started off our um, our uh, ascension run. Yeah, and we are continuing it after uh, after some uh, fast forwarding here, a little bit, a little bit of fast forwarding. <laughs> um, so we actually got uh, way not way past, but like past our previous mark that we uh, that we were at when we. Um, when we were on doing our last ascension, like before we ascended, it was like 650 or whatever. Now we're at like 718, and we started slowing down a little bit. So I thought it was a nice time to come back to where we were at. Uh, a little, a couple things have changed. Uh, Hero souls are down by a little bit, as you can see, and that's mostly because hey, I decided to degild a uh, Frostleaf Dread Knight and Atlas. Luckily for me, they all landed happily on Tree Beast, Ivan, Brittany, Mass Samurai. Uh, great forest here and Terra. I decided to just keep Terra just because when I finally purchase Terra, I'm gonna I'm gonna need those eight just to do like crazy super boosts. But once I'm done with Terra, then I'll probably just take it off. And I'm pretty sure, like, if I level up this motherfucker right here, yeah, see, it only uh, reaches level 800. I would have to like basically start be uh, start purchasing Terra first before I even uh, guild Dread Knight uh, because Dread Knight at level a thousand is what we're trying to go for here. Okay, gonna take this off of Frostleaf now. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was nice. See, it's, it's been it's been doing pretty well so far. Where it's just like when I de guild stuff, it, it only takes a few. Mostly because I'm waiting for it to like land on one of six possibilities, and I've only unlocked like how many heroes? Like four by six. That's uh, 24, um, uh, 28. So I've only unlocked 28. So if I'm waiting for six out of 28, it's not going to take me too long to do that. Which is nice. It's a nice little uh, thing to help help a man out with. So um, so it's been it's been like okay, nice. It's been basically this this sort of pattern for a while now, where it's like I, I get a chest and I level up a bunch of people that boost me up a little bit. But basically, I'm just waiting for the money to come in to level up. You know, another 25 levels for each one of these five dudes in a row and that raises up my dps quite enough to uh to go on to the next level and so on and so forth this has been like the uh back the back end of what i've been doing entirely like uh in between all of the episodes like uh after this uh part right here we're probably gonna uh stop and then we'll come back for the next episode which is what, what is that episode 268 at that point probably yeah, it's gonna be 268 after this is 267 part two, y'all. What up? What up? What up? Um, getting up there in the numbers must be because each of my ascension runs are only two partners now. So, um, so for those of you who've been looking for a 24-hour run, like it, it should be coming soon, since you know it's it's gonna take not that long to get up to 300 now that I'm doing it this way, which is nice. It's a nice, nice little area to fucking find yourself in. Where am I at? I need 1700 good almost there uh, but yeah so this is basically what I've been doing I've just been like vegging out on my computer watching like some YouTube videos here playing some like hearthstone there and back and forth and doing doing some shit here and there and just been like coming back here and just leveling up some dudes boosting up a little bit further and so on and so forth these uh, these motherfuckers have been helping me out a little bit with that as well so it's like so it's like it's once again like I could have not ascended today and just kept on going, but I would have been kept on going for like, it, it, like for a long time. Uh, you know, I wouldn't have needed to stop for a while because uh, that's sort of how this early game uh, functions. Because you have five heroes that you could be potentially gilding for like ten a piece, right? Who are doing like basically like if, if they are guild at ten apiece, there's one thousand percent damage just like multiply their DPS by like eleven or some shit like that. That's pretty good, right? Oh shit. I'm still an idol kid. So uh Abaddon, get the fuck out of here, Abaddon. But uh but yeah, because of that extra DPS and there's like it's the DPS is split up amongst like five super badass dudes, it's uh it's you know, it's sort of like oh wow. That was only two. Nice. It's sort of like never-ending the process, kind of. Nice. Um, 
until until we get to the point where we're able to um what's it called well, we're, when we're able to uh, get dread knight up to level a thousand because you know then we'll be able to um guild dread knight because dread knight will be the most uh, powerful dude on our roster at that point uh, because uh, he is a ranger and remember rangers um once they get to like two, like level like 400. So here, let me let me try that with Atlas. Let me see where I can bring Atlas up to. Hmm. I forget when it starts. I think it starts at like level 525 or some shit like that. I should have should have noted that with uh, Dread Knight because right now Dread Knight is finished ranging and he's not gonna continue on uh, doing stuff for a while. But uh, but hey. I, I know for a fact he's a ranger. It's just like that that middle part where he's uh, ranging and he becomes like good after that, uh, like decent at least. And then after he becomes decent, he becomes the best at level a thousand. So that's uh, that's basically what we're waiting for. We're waiting on a point in time where we're able to get to there, uh, like you know, um, get to that point in uh, in like a really nice you know succinct manner and um you know comfortable manner that way we don't have to guild 18 dudes all all like split up amongst each other we could just guild dread knight and then once we're done with dread knight we could just guild atlas and so on and so forth oh shit look at that don't have enough except i can level up mass samurai and now he's doing 32 percent let's see if that helps see once again this is how this early game works i just leveled up Level him up like 25 levels. He went from 10% total DPS to 33% total DPS. And now we're just going to check to see if that uh, little bit of extra panache. Yep, totally helps us with killing this boss. See, we're at 15 second mark. We're going to pass a little skull down there. So it means uh, we're going to be uh, fucking this dude's life up. Primal pumpkin cat. It doesn't even look like a goddamn cat, man. It looks like a pumpkin with like a cat ear attached to it. Like, like it just fucking absorbed a cat ear onto its body or someone just stapled a cat ear to its fucking head so I, I I disagree that that is a cat that's what I'm saying you are just perpetuating the fact that cats are cute and oh shit it's Halloween so let's make a fucking pumpkin cat and pumpkin spice blah 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 this, this is a very white girl thing very white girl thing to be excited about Speaking of white girl things to be excited about, uh, Cheetos, y'all, I have a bag of Cheetos here with me, as you can hear me crumpling up the bag over here, and holy shit, you guys, it's a limited edition bag of Cheetos, because it's, what, what is it, uh, the Cheetos bag of bones, uh, thing, where it's, um, it's white cheddar flavored, and it's, it's puffs, and it's in the, uh, it's, all of the puffs are in shapes of bones, there's four different, oh, Jesus Christ, Oh my god. Oh, I almost dropped that shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, woo. Woo. Didn't want to lose that. That was a. Uh, these are good. Uh, but yeah, so it's. um. There's four different shapes. One of them's like. Literally just like a regular bone. You know? Like the. The, the weird, like, butts on the top and the bottom and like the. Like the. The. A bone. You know what a fucking bone looks like. Uh, there's a skull one, there's a rib cage one, and then there's like a there's a, a sort of paw bone kind of. It's only got like four prongs on it, so that's why I call it a pawn and not like a hand or a foot. Uh, and there's like a like a it's not like um, a solid thing because the the palm area of this paw is it has like a hollow center sort of. It's almost it looks like it could be a jellyfish. Or just a human with like two arms and two legs, but it, it, you know it's like a, a bone because it, the thing says fucking bag of bones on it. Um, and if you like put one rib cage, four bones, four paws, and one skull together, it looks like an actual human skeleton. It's pretty fun. Check it out on the interwebs if you're uh, looking to see a better description than I was able to give. Uh, but it's super fun. And oh shit! Holy shit, that's a lot of money. Hold on. Oh, so close. Well, I'm able to level up a bunch of bitches, though. So. I thought I was going to be able to get Atlas in this uh, episode, but whatevs. 
Okay. We're pretty close though, as you can see. Okay. There's two right there. There's three right there. There's five, there's six, and seven. And all of these are nines, and we're gonna be. Yeah, see? This is what I mean by boosting forward, like, a lot. Okay, Frostleaf, we can take it off of. Uh, let's start a new quest. Oh, shit, two hours. I, I, I refrain from giving um, Sharon two hour quests because she's very valuable to me, so I'm gonna wait until Christine is done with this uh, Ruby quest and then give her the two hour quest and then give uh, Sharon a better quest. Um, but hey, yes, we're at uh, uh, 68. It's only gonna take 69 to get there. Oh, shit, I need to regale these bitches. Oh, the Brittany Beach Princess. I don't need to regale. That's nice. Uh, go ahead and see if I can. Hey, that was fun. Good job. Good job, team. All right. So here's the thing. Once I degild uh, Terra after Terra has leveled up like quite a bit, uh, if any of those eight guilds that are on Terra right now happen to land on Dread Knight, I'm going to leave them on Dread Knight because Dread Knight is going to be the best hero at that moment because he's going to be over level 1000, which is nice. Which is nice to, to have that, to know all that. And it's a good thing I was able to, to boost in this episode so that you know some, some interesting shit could happen as opposed to fucking lots of penises in your mouth. So, and nobody likes fucking lots of penises in their mouth, because that's a weird position you need to put yourself in to do that. Um, otherwise, what else? What else do we have going? Oh, shit! I, okay, that is a fucking bold-faced lie. I did not collect 4,554 hero souls. If I had known I would have collected that much, I would have just ascended first, and then, or just pumped all my fucking hero souls in those guys first, and then collected, because... God damn it, I only collected 11 from that. Jesus Christ. Sir George. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll take it off Sir George, I guess. Another ruby. Awesome. I do enjoy rubies right now because they'll help me get more uh, quick ascensions. That'll be a nice little way to get more hero souls. That's a nice little way to uh, eat lots of penis for breakfast. Oh shit, there's actually nine on Terra now. Awesome. Eating lots of penis. Lots of penis, bitch. Lots of penis. No, okay, all right. I'll stop you guys. I'm sorry. It's very, very uh, vulgar, vulgar stuff going on right there. Okay, look at that. Seven thousand seven hundred in hero souls right there. Okay, I'll raise this up by seven k. That's nice. Two hundred thirty-four k for ascensions. This is only one hundred eighty-eight k for a quick ascension. I don't know why there's disparage or disparity right there. Probably because I think I think I did a lot of these uh, fucking hero soul quests. Excuse me, to pad, to pad all of that. So that's fun. It's a good time. Once again, only nine monsters on this level because fuck yeah, and this level too because fuck yeah. That's why. Hold on, where's Kumu Wakamaru? How have I leveled Kumu Wakamaru? It's point nine. So honestly, I would just love to get it to the to the point <laughs> where it's where it's nine uh, monsters on each level, maybe eight. And I think I'll, I'll, I'll hold off after that point. Where is, um... So, okay, so next level for Kumu Wakamaru is 4,000. And after that, it's probably going to be like 8,000 or something. I could I could pump that into Kumu Wakamaru just to have that sort of, like, peace of mind. And I, I won't be versing 10 monsters on each level. And that'd be nice. That would be very nice. Okay. Okay, still killing these dudes pretty fast. Except this pumpkin cat is not primal. It's useless, is what it is fucking fuck. It's wearing a fucking witch hat. I thought it was the stem for of the pumpkin for a second, but the stem is on, like, the right side of it, which is weird. Oh, another guild on mass Samurai. Good shit. That's a good sh That's some good shit right here. That's some good shit right here. Mass Samurai is also the next one we need to uh, level up as well. Uh, 1.7 of them, 69s. Uh, you know, you could argue that I should be saving the 69s for, uh, for Terra, but at the same time, like, come on. I need that DPS to like boost myself forward, so um, to to get more money. So it's like it's it's necessary to put it on Mass Samurai at the moment, just so I can get there f quicker. Um, so yep, this is this is how our lives are like right now. Enjoy. This is what uh, this is what's gonna happen until we get to the point where we've leveled up all our ancients like far enough. <laughs> Not level 25, obviously. We need 
fucking way more than that. But uh, but we've leveled them up far enough to the point where uh, we can skip through these like first like thousand levels and get to like fucking Dread Knight awesome gilded bonus uh, super quickly. So we can start actually with our uh, like normal <laughs> recording methods. That would be nice. Uh, otherwise, you know. Until then, I guess like, subscribe, comment if you're enjoying the series this far. I know I am, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.